Um, I've never seen the water quite like this, but it's uh, it's all right. I mean, it's still cool and good to dip in, you know. You get in the river, you can actually feel the soot and ash and debris from the fire just kind of brushing against you. This is usually just, you know, clear. It's beautiful. You can swim under and open your eyes, but I wouldn't dare do that now. The river right now is trying to transport all the sediment that's coming off of the large land mass that was burned by the High Park fire. You got all this 80,000, 90,000 acres of drainage area that comes to the pooter. All of that sediment has to come off of that terrestrial stuff and end up going into the pooter, and the pooter has to actually transport it down, down river to get it out of the system. Because of the fire, we have more debris in the river, so we just are keeping a mindful eye on what's downstream rather than relying on memory. It's also a little bit harder to see rocks because the water's dark. I think that people should experience this because, it I mean, it's like a 30-year event and we're probably not going to see a, fire, a forest fire in this region for a long time, so it's kind of a cool, like, to see what nature can do. The river's running black. You're probably not going to ever experience that again. Yeah. Well, I don't think I will. It's a once-in-a-lifetime um, thing for people to experience. I mean, so, you're never going to say you got to raft a black river ever again, yeah. so... <laughs> What happens with the fish is the fish has to survive all this sediment and silt that's coming down the river and what happens is it seems to clog their gills and provides them issues with trying to breathe while they're in, in the river. And then long term is all this sediment and silt coming down will fill in all the spaces around the rocks and cobble in the river where the aquatic invertebrates or the, or the bugs live that is the food source for those trout. And so it will lose your classes of, of invertebrates in the river as well. There's going to be a cycle to this. It's okay, it's part of the process. And we thought it was important for us to see and, and to show our kids when we came up here that yeah, the destruction was amazing, is overwhelming, and there's already green things growing back through the, the charred soil. Every day you come up here, it, it may look the same, but it's different water that you're looking at. It's just a, a, a dynamic system.